guys, John Coast Mace R&D. Today we have a little Honda head on the Surfacer. And I wanted to show you, this head came in, it was just redone by some other shop. And they put it on a sanding belt to uh, sand the deck uh, flat. And as you can kind of see, it caught a little bit over here on my, I've already made one pass. It didn't catch anything over here. This is what happens when you just try and do these things by hand. These belt sanders are just horrible, just absolutely horrible for surfacing these heads because they leak. That was the customer's complaint. So we're going to take and resurface this the correct way. We're going to show you how that's done. Taking about a two thousandths cut off the head, and we'll see what happens after it's done. Well, we got most of it cleaned up. But as you can see, we got a spot here, a little spot right here, and this area over here. And like I said, this is one of the problems with these uh, sanding belts when you have a head resurfaced, because you can always put more pressure on one end than the other, and this shows the effects of that right now. I'm going to take another three thousandths and see what happens. Well, that last piece got us pretty well cleaned up. We got one little spot right here that didn't clean up, but that's okay because there's nothing to seal there. This little pad right here, there's another one over here, and then there's another one on this side of the head. Those are used as indicators to show the total amount that you can take off this head. We haven't reached that yet, so this head should be good for a little while longer. If you have questions about Honda head resurfacing, give me a call here at Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.